Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am in a great mood today. If you notice that I've been filming a lot of videos in the same background and the same hair, it's because I'm filming the third video of the day. And no, you did not notice that because I'm just trying to get a hold of myself because there are days when I'm having a very productive filming days and there are days where I literally can't film anything because I feel like trash because of my pregnancy. So I'm trying to take advantage as much as I can on these good days. And yeah, I'm just gonna film my third video for today today. But I wanna share with you guys H&M haul and this is kind of more of like a maternity haul. I didn't necessarily purchase like maternity things, but I got stuff that I think would work well for maternity and for myself afterwards. So I want to share with you everything that I found and my thoughts on them. So before I digress and start talking about other stuff, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I got a bunch of different things that I think are going to be great for my body now and for afterwards as well. Some of them worked out really well, some of them not so much. So I'm going to share them with you and let you know my thoughts. I'm still trying to get the hang of like acquiring clothes that will fit my body for now and later. And it's really hard because a lot of the things that I still think are gonna fit me once I get them they just don't and I get really disappointed because I'm so used to them fitting me and now I'm just like what the hell I can't even put these on so but yeah, let me just render them with you to show you guys what I picked up. Apparently, I'm still in the throes of summer because I fell in love with this beautiful little dress here. It's kind of taken apart right now. It looks absolutely stunning when it's buttoned up. And it reminded me a lot of my Reformation dresses for a fraction of the price. I was like, okay, let's get this. It's like a really lightweight, crepey type of material. Super cooling on the skin. And I personally thought that this would be really comfortable for myself with my pregnancy body because the top is like super stretchy. Same same with the sleeves here and then I thought it was gonna be like a lightweight empire waist from the bust down lo and behold because of the material it was not and I probably should have expected this beforehand it just looked a lot looser on the model than I expected but when I put it on myself I could barely button this up and Peter took a picture of it when I was attempting to do this and ended up sharing this with all my cousins. Kind of still mad at him for this, but it's pretty funny. So I normally wouldn't try it on to show you if clothes just don't fit me. It just looks so absurdly weird that I have to show you. But this is what it looks like when it's fully buttoned up. It literally does not fit me from the chest downwards here. So I had like a giant hole showing off my tummy and that's not the look that I was going for. I thought it was gonna look a lot looser. I don't know if I sized up if I would even fit this to be honest. I I got this in the size extra small already and it already was so tight on me that I think if I sized up like at least another two sides to make it fit my tummy it would literally fall off my shoulders because this girl has no boobies to keep this up so unfortunately this will be going straight back to H&M for me but it is so beautiful and if you want that reformation look without the reformation price tag then I would recommend getting this dress because it has almost a very similar silhouette and that delicate floral print that reformation usually uses in a lot of their stuff and I think it's actually really well made and constructed it even has a lining on the inside so it's not totally see-through I think this is really well made for the price tag at H&M. So I would say jump on this if you're still looking to add a couple more summer pieces to your wardrobe. I know even though summer is coming to an end soon, but this classic kind of like really feminine style is gonna last a long time and you can totally get some wear out of this for next year too. So I don't think that this is gonna disappear anytime soon. Silhouette is not too trendy and it's like a nice, very delicate feminine one. So highly, highly recommend it. I would totally get this if I could fit in it, but I don't, so it's going back to H&M for me. Okay, next up is a dress that I had really high hopes for. It looked cute on the mannequin, and I think that's because she's not pregnant, because when I put it on me, it looked like I'm wearing like a 1980s muumuu, like not cute, like pajamas, and I'll show you in a second. So this is what it looks like. It's this beautiful gauzy floral dress, super loose at the neckline, a really lightweight material. It has a long sleeve with a cuff and I guess like a little bit elasticated with like a little bow at the bottom here. And the rest of the dress is literally just like this. There's no shape to it. It just falls down on you. So I assumed, okay, this is gonna be great for my body. It's not gonna be tight. It's gonna be super loose and lightweight for me. I'm gonna look great in this. Unfortunately, not so much. Because of my stomach, it really pushes me out and it looks like I'm wearing like a 1980s nightgown. And I think because of the print too, it just doesn't really come off the same as what I would expect it to. I think this would be really cute if you had a belt, maybe like a high-waisted one or even like mid-waist. Honestly, this dress needs a lot more shaping for it to perform and to look really well and I think for my body shape it just doesn't look great right now. I loved it on the model and because it's also made out of 100% recycled polyester I thought this was like really eco-conscious. It also comes with the slip so you don't have to worry about finding another one to wear underneath. I had such high hopes for it. Unfortunately it didn't 
pan out for me like at all so it's gonna be going straight back to H&M. Another dress that I also had really high hopes for and I think it's just the way the dress is cut it has nothing to do with my body shape is this collared knit dress. I thought this would be great for fall because I could wear this with black leggings or tights underneath and it would allow for a lot of space for my tummy to continue growing comfortably here. Unfortunately the arms are like strangely boxy and the material is really really itchy on my skin. For some reason right now my skin has been insanely itchy not just the tummy area where the skin is stretching a lot and I'm using like creams and bio oil like regularly to keep it moisturized so it doesn't get too dry but my arms are so irritated I scratch them all the time and because this is kind of like a wool blend it really irritated my skin and I primarily wanted to get this so that I could have winter clothes to wear in pregnancy that would possibly last me afterwards as well and because my original intention was more for like a pregnancy but like normal postpartum dress afterwards was secondary to that I don't think this is going to pan out well because I'm going to get so annoyed with this material against my skin if it's constantly rubbing and itching me so I said you know what screw it we're going to be returning this one it's going straight back to H&M but it looked really cute on it's just the boxy shape didn't really help and then the itchiness just like really sealed the deal at the end so unfortunately it's going to be going back but again this is part of their eco-conscious line it is made of 54% recycled polyester which I love that H&M really does with a lot of their products that they're currently releasing it's helping to recycle the fashion industry so we're not using too much new materials all the time and yeah it's great it's a great color it's a great really like silhouette overall besides the boxiness it's just the itchiness that I can't get over and I know it's gonna drive me bonkers as my skin continues to itch more and more so I can't risk that and this is gonna be going straight back to H&M but if you are okay with that I think this actually could look really cute with like a turtleneck on underneath and layer this over top so you don't feel the itchiness it would be great for fall and it's gonna be so nice with a blazer layered over top actually now that I think about it this would look really cute with um, like a leather blazer so try that if you want a different look I think it could look really cute with this it just unfortunately for me it didn't really work out okay so things that did really work out for me actually and I'm really excited to share these ones with you first one is a romper jumpsuit type of thing if you guys are familiar with the Aritzia divinity jumpers I am obsessed with them and for somebody the belly bump having tight like stretchy material around your stomach is so so relaxing when it just like hugs it in and your body doesn't have to bear the weight of it kind of just like resting down on you. So I found this one from H&M and this is part of their eco-conscious line. It's also 63% recycled polyamide and it's so comfortable. It's this black one made with like rib knit detailing material, long as well so you can wear this into fall and has slight cuffing at the ankle here and there's also some space at the crotch so it's forgiving. You're not going to get too much of a camel toe. It has very thin spaghetti straps on the top here and the back is not super low back either so you don't have to worry about showing off too much bra straps if you're wearing a strapless bra underneath here. I think this is a very very conservative jumpsuit by standards. It doesn't cut too low, doesn't reveal anything and it's super stretchy so really comfortable yet at the same time the elasticity will really hug your body in. If you were looking for a more affordable version of the Divinity Romper then I would highly highly recommend this one. This one's significantly cheaper and it also comes in a couple of colors obviously not as available in like a variety of colors like Aritzia has. I think they have like 20, 30 some colors available at the moment. But if you're looking for a pure black one, then this one is really great. It doesn't show off any weird like lumps or like panty lines when you're wearing it. It just smooths and sucks you in and feels like perfection. So if you want to jump onto that romper train, then I would recommend getting this one. I think this is going to be great for like fall, winter. You can layer blazers over top. You can layer sweaters. You can get a lot of wear out of this. You can even go work out in this if you really want to. So this is going to be one of those like classic comfy basics that everybody should have in their closet and a great and affordable alternative to the Aritzia one if you don't want to spend that much money because I know that one is a little pricey. So this one is a keep for sure and I would recommend it if you're looking for a romper. It fits so well and it's really, really comfortable. So as you know, rib knit is probably one of my favorite textures right now primarily because not only is it like forgiving for my body but it also adds a dimension of texture on the, like, the clothing so it doesn't show off like any weird lumps that I'm getting from pregnancy if I'm growing in different places that I don't normally really girl. I don't know why. That doesn't make sense, but it makes sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you. I found this really, really soft top. It's actually quite similar to the matching sets that I found from Dynamite. Unfortunately, the matching pants for this were sold out in my size. I'm so annoyed because I really wanted the matching set and it's really, really soft as well. This one's also part of the eco-conscious line. 63% recycled polyester. It is a collared blouse, nice and stretchy, long sleeve. It is very long and this material is actually quite lightweight of a knit. 
It's one of those knits that you can probably stretch over time if you're not careful with it. So I definitely just be really careful when you're wearing this and don't get it caught on things because it's quite delicate. It's a very thick kind of rib knit. Like it's a lot wider. It's not as tight as say the dress that I'm wearing right now. And it's just really soft on the skin. So as I mentioned, my skin is super sensitive at the moment and really itchy when it comes to materials. And this one is really delicate on my skin. It doesn't irritate me at all. I'm going to keep an eye out for the matching bottoms because I don't really have like a matching top and bottom set in this like black shade. I decided to keep the brown one from Dynamite, but it would be nice to also have like a black one. And the great thing about this is that if you don't find the matching bottoms, you can definitely wear the top on its own as well. I think this looks really cute either tucked into pants or with a very slim pair of leggings underneath or just slim trousers. It just has that like very effortless chic West Coast cool vibe and I love it. I'd probably personally wear this unbuttoned up a little bit higher just to give more space to my belly, but it's nowhere tight at all that I can't comfortably wear this right now buttoned all the way to the bottom. But I think the trend for these type of shirts at the moment is to only button it halfway, have a bit of, I guess, your torso showing, and then wear your pants high-waisted down the rest of the way with a pair of loafers. Speaking of which, loafers are on my shopping list for fall because I don't have any like chunky loafers. I have my eye on these really cute Chanel ones, but we'll see if I can find them. I digress though. Back to this top. I love it and I couldn't recommend it more. I think it comes in a couple other colors too, like neutral ones, like a beige and a white. So this one's a great find. If you're looking for matching pieces like this, Dynamite and H&M have some really, really great ones. Like I said, I'm loving rib knits and I found these really cute beige leggings. Oh my God, these look so great for the winter time. The color is perfect. It looks so cozy. I do wish it was a little bit more flared at the bottom though. It's literally like a legging from the top to bottom down, but this will be great to be able to tuck into boots. I actually ordered these in a size up in the size small because I knew that the extra small would probably be way too tight in the waist and I was right, the small fits perfectly. My only issue is that it's a little bit loose in the crotch area, but I know my bump as I continue to grow a little bit more and these are not like crazy expensive. I can invest in like a slightly larger size. And since these are like a very basic type of legging, I want them to be comfortable and cozy for me in the winter time when it's going to get cold because all of my other leggings right now are like extra smalls and they're getting tight and they're like low rise ones that I know I probably won't be able to wear. So I probably will actually end up keeping these around for my next pregnancy down the road because we'd love to have a second child in the next like two three years too. And because it's nothing like too trendy, I can 100% get away with wearing this again in my next pregnancy without regretting making a maternity purchase. So if you're looking for like really cute, affordable leggings without breaking the bank, then definitely try something like this. It's cozy for the winter time if you need to stay warm. And at the same time, it's really chic. It fits comfortably. It's high-waisted and the band is not too thick that it presses on your stomach uncomfortably. It just it sits there so nicely. So these ones are also going to be a keep and I can't wait to style these up for the fall. Just wait to see the outfits with this. It's going to be cute. So I also got this tunic from H&M with the intention of being able to wear it post-pregnancy as well. I ordered this in an extra small, but even though it wasn't extra small and with my belly right now, it's a little bit too big for my liking. It's very stunning though. And I think this would be a really cute type of outfit to wear if you're going on a trip to like Greece or whatever, and you have a belt just to belt it here. Unfortunately, I do have a long sleeve blouse dress already that looks really similar to this. So this would just end up being a duplicate in my closet. Although the material is very different. The other one's like a dress shirt material. It just ends up looking too similar on me that I don't think it's worthwhile for me to get two different ones. Different but similar because then at the end of the day I probably will always gravitate back to the blouse one because it's easy to take it on and off and to layer it a little bit more casual. Whereas when I look at this I see this as a very occasion shirt, probably a vacation or a trip shirt more or less even though it's a super long dress and I like it. It just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't call anything to me spectacularly that says Vic you need to keep this even though it's a great basic. So I do love it if you don't have anything like this in your closet. This is a great option to add if you want that like long simple tunic dress. It's white all over. It's really cool soft material to the touch which is going to be great for the summertime because you won't feel too hot in this and if you want to add more of a figure to the silhouette then I'd recommend belting it with either like a really thick belt that's like a statement one or something nice and thin like a rope belt to give you more of that like beachy grease casual vibe. Not to mention it's also a long sleeve, quite cute, has buttons on the side for you to take on and off and they're elasticated to make it easy for you to put your 
hand through if your hand is too wide to fit through this. But at the end of the day, it just doesn't make sense for me to keep this since I have too similar of a dress already. So I will be returning this straight back to H&M. It's really beautiful though. I do really like it. I think this is one of the great finds at H&M. They sometimes have like amazing pieces and other pieces you're like, what? Like, is this worth it? This is definitely one of the ones that is gonna be worth it. So if you're looking for something like this, check this one out and pick it up for yourself. Last thing that I got was a little bit different for me. I've always wanted like a cute Sherpa bag. When it comes to Sherpa, it flattens out so quickly. A lot of the designer ones that I've been looking at are so expensive that I'd be afraid to take them outside, fear of risk of getting them damaged and dirty. Then when I found this cute little one from H&M in this like very 90s classic silhouette, it kind of looks like the Prada reissue one. I came and I picked it up. How cute is this? And in like the most beautiful beige color as well. Super affordable. A great little like statement piece to add to your closet. I know this is like a really, really trendy silhouette, but it's also a very classic silhouette that you see coming back every like 20 years or so as fashion recycles itself. It's just been added like with a little bit of a modern spin of the Sherpa material. And honestly, I'm seeing Sherpa back with a resurgence from so many designers at the moment that if you don't want to splurge and spend $2,000, this is a great alternative for you to be able to wear this all season this year into like fall winter and then spring of next year and then to wear it the year afterwards. Sherpa itself is a very classic texture that's never going to go away and the fact that this is not branded and is this very very simple silhouette means that you can continue to wear this for many years over and over again without risking the fact that this could potentially not be considered trendy anymore and then you just bought it for the one season. So I caved and I picked this up. I think this is going to be so cute for the winter time to add texture to any outfit especially if you're wearing leather stuff. As you guys know I love mix and matching textures in the winter time and I think it's gonna be so adorable with like white turtleneck, a pleather blazer, very simple, classic and chic option. Oh, I'm already imagining myself with so many different outfits on this and it just it just looks so cute and you're saving a bunch of money instead of splurging like three thousand dollars on a Sherpa designer bag that you're probably never gonna wear out because it's gonna flatten if it's real material over time and gets so dirty. So this is a really great and affordable option. It looks really cute and not too, too trendy where you're gonna worry if you're still gonna be able to get wear out of this after this year. I think you can definitely get a couple of years out of this. And by that time, it probably will be so worn out anyways that it will be at the end of its lifespan. So I love this. Can't wait to style this up for winter and fall. I think it's gonna be a cute addition to all of my other like little Sherpa pieces like mittens and hats. Ah, I'm just so excited. So adorable. Okay, so that is it for my H&M haul. I know this is a little bit smaller than my usual ones, but I was trying to be very picky with what I purchased because I needed them to serve a specific function, either like maternity or maternity in post or for post as well. And unfortunately, a lot of them fell through from my expectations, but I did end up picking up a couple of maternity essentials down the road that I wanna share with you guys. And we've got some baby things too that I can't wait to share in my next H&M haul. We've already gone ahead and purchased some things for the nursery. And as you know, there's a new human in the world. So I do need to dress it somehow. So I grabbed a couple of baby things Things. I actually love that all the H&M baby stuff is 100% organic cotton, which is really great on the baby's skin. We're trying to go 100% cotton, muslin, or linen where possible so that it's not too sensitive for the baby's skin because they usually have very like sensitive skins that can react to um, like different harsh materials and I don't want to give the baby rash. I can avoid it because it's probably gonna get diaper rash anyways from the constant diaper changing. So we're trying to stay as organic as possible with materials. And I love the H&M does offer that for the baby clothes. So stay tuned for that haul. Very excited to share some baby stuff with you guys. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing more baby things in general. We also picked up some decor stuff for the nursery to sustain theme. If you guys haven't already checked it or seen it, check out my post on Instagram. Instagram here where we share with you the nursery reveal of the final pink color that we just chose recently. We're going to be spending the rest of this week building out furniture for the nursery so I can't wait to share with you guys that and what everything looks like once it's done. So stay tuned for I think a vlog. We'll vlog some of that so you can kind of like catch the action and once everything's put back together. Oh, I can't wait to share it with you guys and I can't wait for baby to come to see the place and just like to have a new addition to our family. So yeah if you guys want to see more of me you know where to find me on Instagram and TikTok. Talk, I'm always posting on there. Otherwise, make sure you guys are following me on YouTube and subscribe as well. That way you get notified every time I post a brand new video. Let me know down in the comments below which pieces from this haul were your favorites because I would love to know which ones you guys really liked. If you've already picked them up for yourself or you think I should keep any of the pieces that I am going to be returning or if you hate any of the pieces that I'm planning to keep. No harm, no foul. I won't be offended. I just like to know your opinions to see what you guys are interested in. And as always, if you want any of the links, 
it'll be included in the description box below for you guys to easily refer back to. That way you'll know everything that I've linked and purchased and you can find it nice and easily there. Otherwise, thanks for watching my video today, guys. I can't wait to see you in the next one. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Love you. Bye.